Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Eternal Darkness, Sanity's Requiem. In the last episode, we completed Lindsay's chapter. And we now know where the heart of Mantarok is. So we should go and claim it while we can. Because who knows who could be watching within the walls. Like that flying book, for example. Ooh, we better watch out. Alex discovers a pulp novel written by one Dr. Edwin Lindsay. Among the books on the shelf, there is... This is where the Tome of Eternal Darkness indicated that something of value was hidden behind this book. And within it, we have... The Heart of Mantarok. It is ours. I hear noises. wonder what's going on. Oh yeah, check your, um, inventory sometimes, because you'll be given notes sometimes. Oh, this phone has been annoying us for the past few Hello? episodes. Remember me, Alex. This is really happening. Hmm. Oh. Trying to remember where I need to go. It's been a while since I played the game, so... Let's see. We got the tome... No, we got the Heart of Mantarok. We need to go... Um... Hmm. We'll find it, don't worry. You know what? We need to recover. Oh, wait a minute! Aha! Uh -huh, I remember now. The stained glass depicts a glowing medieval maiden, luminous even with the faint light of the setting sun. The maiden clasps a piece of parchment in her hands. The window gives Alex a strange feeling, almost as if it is magical and not really there. A glowing field of energy protects the window. Aha! Uh -huh. We want Dispel Magic. We'll go with Jeterka. And now we take this. As the magical window fades away, the piece of parchment that the maiden was holding is left behind. Floating in midair appears to be a chapter page. We got Heresy! Master, your task is to guard the artifact before you. Let no one touch it. Ah, yes, this chapter. Let's begin. In Europe, during the time of the Inquisition, paranoia and corruption ran deep. With the fear of devilry running rampant, the ancients' corruption extended far beyond mortal knowledge, corrupting all that could be corrupted. My researches uncovered an interesting incident. A Franciscan monk named Paul Luther was traveling through the region of Amiens during the witch hunts of the Inquisition. Now, under martial law, the Inquisition prevented anyone from leaving the town and its nearby cathedral, for everyone was suspect. Welcome to Oublier Cathedral, Brother Luther. I'm glad that our sacred order can bestow hospitality 
on our Franciscan brethren. I shall not impose, Excellency. I merely request lodging and a viewing of the sacred relic, the Hand of Jude. Many have traveled far and even risked their lives for a glimpse of the hallowed relic's true splendor. Of course, it would be wise to keep quiet during your stay. The Inquisition is here for a reason, brother. We seek to purge the deviancy from this town. I am sure that will not be a problem. Amiens appears to be a peaceful hamlet. It appears to be, but deviancy is secreted in the most deceptive places, which I believe is the case with Amiens. Then I wish you luck in your search. The Inquisition does not need luck, Brother Luther. Faith and purity are our guides. I'm not a religious nut. Because these people are fucking nuts. Anyways, let's just get this over with. This is my least favorite chapter. Even if the guy we're playing as is voiced by Colonel. <sighs> Fuck this faith, you know what I mean? This is why I worship Bugaloo. For the love of God! God! Help! Come quickly! A murder! A murder most foul! What heresy is this? I... I found him lying here. Dead. I called the guards. Ah. Is this our first suspect? Make sure no one touches the body. It must be examined for signs of devilry. As for this man, make sure he doesn't leave the cathedral. We will question him later. But Hold your tongue, Franciscan, or it might bring my wrath upon thee. Who is to say that you did not commit this murder? If you trust in the Almighty, and you are indeed innocent, then you will have nothing to fear. See, if you were a member of Bugaloo, this never would have happened. Anyways, just grab this emerald. Are you here to pass sentence on me? No! I'm here to free you! You are in incredible danger. This cathedral used to be a place of peace. Now many strange things happen here. I don't want you to end up like the others. What do you mean? The body you found was Brother Andrew, and he was killed to protect a secret. We can't talk about it here. Find me in the bell tower later, and I shall aid thee further. Why are you releasing me? I don't want to see another innocent die like your Franciscan brethren. I have seen Brother Andrew make numerous entries into his journal. This may contain the answers to the cathedral's dark secrets. What can I do? If I were you, I'd run. They will surely hunt me if I run. This has to stop. Then be it on your own head, Luther. Find Brother Andrew's journals if you can. He spent time in the old tower investigating. I believe I can find the key to the old tower in one of my stores. Later, come find me in the bell tower, and I will give it to you. Be swift! We can't evade them forever. Okay, on a more serious note, Despite all this, why would Luther suddenly want to steal the emerald? I mean, yeah, he's already being labeled as a murderer, but would he, does he really want to be a thief, too? Because he is guilty of thievery. Flashbacks! Which he is. He fucking stole that freaking thing. He stole that emerald. 
And look, he's running away from suspicion. Clearly, this will clap. This will release him of all judgment. No, it won't. Now, let's explore for a bit. The cathedral's tabernacle is a fashion is fashioned from aged, varnished mahogany. Mahogany. Its doors are closed, and there doesn't appear to be any way of opening manually. Ah, that's right. We need to play. Oh yeah, Luth Luther is frickin' fat. He doesn't do good with running. He can't run good distances. He is fat. And old. And smelly. What we need to do is... Well, we can open this chest and we can get a crossbow. Good weapon. Hey, Luther, whatever happened to turn the other cheek whenever you're offended or something? Fucking... Hypocrites. Anyways, we got the podium key. We can open up... ...that little podium that was locked before. Use the key. Open the drawer. And inside, we got... I said we got a diary page. Let's read. I have finally arrived at Amiens, and my pilgrimage to see the hand of Jude draws to a close. I cannot wait to lay eyes upon the sacred relic. My journey here has been arduous, and it shall be good to relax for a while in this peaceful village. Amiens is full of good people, strong in their faith and their role in our world. If the blight of witchcraft is present in this world, I doubt it is in Amiens. Then again, I'm a fucking moron. Ah! And I can't tell when the person in a red hood is actually a corpse. Seriously, what the hell? Would you trust him? I would say, fuck you, blue man. You think you're Doug funny? The Book of Reliquaries. This is the forgeries of the reliquaries. Doubtless many obscure orders requiring more income that than can be gar garnered from the... Whatever that is. Resorted to forging ancient relics to bring people from outside their region to their... Whatever that is. And thus become more lucrative. While it could be said that a false hope is still hope, relics such as... Cuthbert's Jawbone, the Hand of Jude, and the infamous Thighbone Flute of... Connaught, while being forgeries deceive the righteous unjust... Justly, their existence as true relics is the utmost heresy. Hey, if it brings people together, you know? Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Oh, forgive me. This is Christianity. This is, you gotta do it this way or I shove a mace down your face. Speaking about maces. Now we can truly be a cleric. I'm gonna roll my d20 for my strength check. Oh yes, trappers. <laughs> Gotta be careful. Hmm. Aha! Knocking on this cask results in a hollow thud. It is empty, but why? When all the others are full of ma maturing wine. Turn it. Okay, we're gonna enchant the mace with the mantrock. Ta-da! Oh look, it's an Uliath horror. The blue gem! Hmm, we're missing the red gem. We can just let the mantrock um, enchantment work its magic on it, but we also want to get into the pit, so. Thank you, I mean, Mantarok. Aha! Now all we need is a red gem. Finish it off. 
leave, and let's go talk to the guy, to the janitor, because we need to go see him. Oh, for a minute there, I thought I heard a trapper. Oh yeah, I should go to the piano here. Oh, never mind. Not yet, I think. We need to go back later. Now, there's no point in exploring any further due to the fact that the areas are locked and we need to um, see the janitor. He'll give us the key to go further. Yeah, Luther, like I keep telling you, if you became a follower of Bugaloo, this would never have happened. What's a bugaloo? You'll never know. Oh no! A dead body! It's not like I saw an unholy abomination monster before you carrying a gem inside its body. And I'm carrying around an unholy book to my faith. I gotta burn people because they were tripping out on mushrooms. Ah, oh, Brother Luther, not a moment too soon. As you have noticed, Dread things inhabit this place. Shambling corpses, and worse. There is darkness at work here, in the midst of the Inquisition. I suspect it is worse than that, but I have no proof. Brother Andrew knew this also, and paid the price for it. Why are you telling me this? Perhaps you can finish off what Andrew started. Take this key. It unlocks the old tower. It has been sealed off since the Inquisition arrived. I intend to uncover the truth behind this. If you manage to uncover the source of darkness, return here, and I will do everything I can to help. Till then, brother, may your faith protect you. Okay. If that area is sealed off because of the Inquisition, why does the custodian have the key? Wouldn't it make more sense for the head for the head priest to have the key so that no one else may enter? Makes no sense. Or am I thinking too deep into this and I should just shut up? I've already pissed off more of my Christian viewers by demanding their religion, which is A plus for me because fuck it. I don't give a fuck. Worship your true Lord and Master, which is the Bugaloo. Bugaloo, 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 Loo, Loo. Oh yeah, let's re enchant. Let's enchant the sapphire, you fucking moron! There, now we're ready to bash more skulls. Oh yeah! The, this is what what you see of the moon. That's how they work. And like I said in an earlier video, if you um get hit, if you don't shake them off in time, that happens to you and you instantly die. Game over. Now, normally you would have to attack the head to destroy the Bone Thieves, however, the Zelototh Bone Thieves don't have heads. Aha! The Shield Spell! This is gonna come in handy. Now, either this does- either this gives you the little fairy things flying around you, or it just makes the wall. Oh, hey, look, it's a ruby. Charlemagne. And it's Anthony. Hi! How 
have you been? Not too good. Completely understandable.